The problem is that I think you are aware of that Japan is not a common law system. It is a civil law country. It takes us time to understand. And un unfortunately, the ways Japan have civil law is different from Middle Eastern civil law. We are aware of how Middle Eastern civil law work. I studied in Egypt, and my, my PhD is on UAE civil law. I understand how civil law work in Arab countries. But in Japan, amazingly, it works differently. You cannot even have the agency contract to imply on trustee. So what we do is that we have to have all the escrow account, uh, assignment, and all those things to effect that particular transaction to give the tax and, and, and all situations that have not in any way detrimental to the investors for that particular situation. It is a, a, a discussion on that matter. What, what I'm to say here is that we have to then suit the practice of the Sharia to that particular jurisdiction for us to have a product that are beneficial to the market and at the same time also doable within that particular jurisdiction. Um, thank you very much. Uh, uh, we're really um, um, out of time. I think uh, Sheikh Nizam has uh, something to add. It may be time for one quick question from the floor. I'm putting Shazad in a, in, a, in, a, in a difficult place. Maybe one quick question from the floor. And we do hope to have um, Sharia um, scholars panels. We will have other panels. And so one can store one question, although they are associated with uh, other themes, and perhaps ask them in that context as, as well. Well, Dr. Aznan reminded me of something which I think you will like. In Bahrain, we were trying to write a, a trust law. And as you know, the civil code jurisdictions, they don't have any trust laws. And we are facing this problem today in France. And they had what they call the fiduciary, which they tried to replicate the trust in some sort, but it has some difficulties. And there is no beneficial ownership also in, the, in France and other jurisdictions which follow the civil code. So we had this dilemma. Our jurisdiction is based on, on civil law. And also, it should not violate the Sharia because that is the constitution also of the country, which is mentioned in the beginning. And, uh, and there is no, so we were looking to find a jurisdiction where to fit at least some. So the best thing we found that there was a trust law in Quebec. So in Quebec that they follow the civil law, but they are also within the jurisdiction of common law and they had a trust law. So that was the best law which we could follow. We took it and we benefited from it and we added something. And this was, Bahrain was the first civil law jurisdiction yeah. in, the, in the Middle East to issue the trust law. So these interaction between legal systems, it's very interesting and I think it's very nice for law students to study. And I think legal systems to, should benefit from each other. Why should we, you know, be so rigid and make uh, a legal system like, uh, like a religion, uh, wh while even the religious people are compromising in some sort of uh, areas? Um, I know there are probably several questions, but if you can take one quick question from the uh, floor and then close so as not to eat into too much of the next session, I, I think uh, yeah. I might get off the, uh, off the, the dais safely. Yes, please. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Jalaluddin from Ansar Financial. Um, I just like to make a, a, a well, it's a question and a comment as well. Um, you know, talking about research for the Sharia standards, um, I have attended so many conferences, and there is another opinion that the research should not be stopped. Yeah. Research should continue. Of course, you can start with the basic. Uh, basis of OFC or whatever standards, but, but the research must continue because this is a developing um, yeah. rules and this is such an infancy. Uh, so I like to just say that, you know, the, the research, uh, because there's so much things to be developed. Uh, the, and the last thing I would like to say also is, uh, is that the Sharia uh, standards, and I think I posed this question in my uh, <coughs> attendance in Singapore, that the, the standards uh, of Sharia should be also recognized by the Western world. Because if we develop our own standards and not only simply copy uh, 
the existing procedures, we have to offer, from the Islamic point of view, our own um, rules and regulation and standardization. Thank you. Uh, yeah, there, is a, there is a review process. I mean, you will be happy to know that this Sharia standards uh, published by IOFI is not a, is, you know, things cast in stone. There is a review committee, as I understand, and based on the research and feedbacks and practical problems and practical implications, the review committee do review these standards and you can see that from time to time, they do review the, these standards. But these standards, really, like 40, 41 of them, yeah, uh, they are not. They do not cover the entire industry, entire spectrum of the activities. There, is, there is a lot of open areas, which is all uh, done by local research and by the Sharia scholars themselves. And standards, as we understand, and it should be clear to you that these, these do not dispense with the Sharia scholars. Sharia scholars are there to interpret, implement, and dynamically imply the, apply the IOF standards in given jurisdictions. And that's the solution here. And I think we are intelligent enough now in uh, developed markets in North America to be prudent in that manner. In some jurisdiction, in some jurisdiction for the banking, for example, uh, once you work with central bank, for example, and you want to move to the market, they disallow you to work for six months. That is what they call grace period. And this six months, they believe once you come back to the market, your knowledge is absolute already. This to show how financial transaction and all the, the thing related to the economies and everything moving very fast. That's why research will not be discontinued at all. It has to continuously update it, and, and from time to time has to be at par with the development of the market. So this standard is not Al-Quran. It's something to be reviewed, to be developed, to be, uh, to, to be revised, revisited from time to time as the market, um, uh, what we call matured and the market developed further. These standards are start point for research. Yes. They are not the end of research, <laughs> you know, but they are keeping the researcher on the right track. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to study economics, you have to take economics 101. You cannot uh, just uh, come out of nowhere and say that I am an economist, you know. So this is to keep you on the right track. And the references are there and everything is there and research is continuing. And these standards are derived from research and derived from the fatwas. And always new things are developing. So whatever standard we develop, there are new things coming and coming and coming. Yes. With that, thank you um, uh, very much for your attention. And we'll bring this uh, panel to a close. And um, we uh, thank the panelists of the next session for their indulgence.